Hi everyone, here's our quick video for tools number four, some more text tools. We know how to type basic text, create outlines. Let's take it one step further. Let's go ahead and download. Let's go ahead and download our file by opening it in a new tab, download, and let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so check this one out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to type inside an object. This is called the area type tool type on a path. It could be any type of path. It doesn't have to be a squiggly line. It could be type on the circle, type on oval, and then the vertical type tool. There are others, but these are kind of some of the popular ones. So let's zoom in and check it out. Let's see what these have to say. I'm going to hit Z for zoom. I'm there already. Click and drag around these instructions in my workspace. All right. So this is a quick little introduction. You can type anything you want inside this by using what's called the area type tool. And for the sake of this assignment, type whatever you want on the inside. Okay, literally, it does not matter as long as it's school appropriate. All right, step number one, create a shape. Uh, for this case, let's just go ahead and do another star. All right, so I'm going to come to my star and let's click and drag and draw. Ooh, that's going to look a little bit weird. Let me decrease the number of sides. Let's go down to the five point. I'm going to hold alt, kind of keep it right here. Alt and shift, it's kind of weird little keys. And I'm going to grab those right there. All right, let me move this selection tool, move it down a little bit. All right, we got to go to the select the area type tool. That's the one we got to find. All your type tools are up here under, well, your T for type. So I'm going to click and hold, and we're going to go to the area type tool. Now, the way this works is you have to select the stroke. You have to click on the outline exactly on. You can't click inside it on the outside. You got to come here right on, click on the path. And as you can see, it inserts text. It's all highlighted. We can just start typing. We can just start typing and it's going to form it. We can just start typing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can continue on this one. Now, if you want to change the size of the font, we're going to need to highlight it, click and drag, and we could change the font if we want. We could change the, the, the font just like before, change the font change the size of it if we want to fit it in there a little better and you can keep going and keep going now i'm just typing random letters just to see that it fills in the shape oops i should probably put some more spaces in there so it breaks it up all right i was putting spaces in every once in a while again to change the font highlight it again i'm still on the tool still on my type tool now if you click off of it you could still change it i'm going to still go back to my type tool let me hit t for type on my keyboard I'm going to single click in there and I can still highlight this and change it to whatever font that we want. All right. So what we need to do, though, now is, as you've noticed, when I go to my selection tool and click off, the star is going to be gone. Now, I would like you to type more than this and maybe even do a little bit of a smaller font so we can see more of the shape of the star. Now, to change this, what we're going to do is step number five. This one's really you got to read this very carefully to change the color of the shape or the outline. So. Here's the star, and it has no outline, it has no stroke. What we got to do is we got to go to the white arrow, which is our direct selection tool. White arrow is up here at the top. Direct selection tool, let's go to the white arrow, and you have to click on the corner or an anchor of the shape. These are the anchors. We'll talk a lot about this later. Click on any one of these corners on the actual anchor. I'm going to click on it right there. Click on the anchor. Now I could come back here. I'm going to switch this to I have my stroke exposed and come and or my stroke on in front so i can change the stroke color there we go so again you got to go on your white arrow click on the corner then you could train change the stroke color all right type on a path tool this is the next one so we're going to create a shape we're going to create let's just create a little squiggle just like this um, by using this as our quick little introduction to the pen tool we're going to dive way more deep into this later but let's go to our pen tool the way the pen tool works is by clicking and dragging in the direction you want to go. Click and drag with your mouse. Don't drag too far. It's going to bend your line too much. So I'm going to click and drag. Let's come over here. I'm going to click and drag down this way and click and drag down this way. All right. So there we have our little shape. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. That's going to stop me from drawing. And let's go to my selection tool. If you want to move this around wherever you want, your selection tool. If you want to make a copy of it, we can just go control C, control V on your keyboard, make a copy if we want to keep it just to try it again. All right, we got to go to the type on a path tool. That is the name of this one. Here, type on a path tool. 
So that's going to be up here under our type tools. Type on a path. There we go. Third one down. And we're just going to come here and you got to come and click the path. That's step number four. Click on the path. All right. Now, if we want to edit the font, I'm going to go ahead and click. Oops. Let me. I'm going to do this. Let's come right here. I could still do it. Yeah, sometimes to select it, it gets a little tricky. So I'm just going to do a little, I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to go control A on my keyboard. That's going to select all this. I'm going to up here to my font. Right now I have Bell. That was the last font we use. Let's increase the font size. Oh, it's starting to move away. Let's go to our selection tool. As you can see, when this pops up, there's these little lines right here. And I can click on this and I can move where I want it to start and stop. This is the end. If I could, this is a start. These are the lines. This is a start. This is the stop. But we could also change the alignment over here. Which, let me open up my properties toolbar. And when on my properties toolbar, you can see just like in Google Docs or Microsoft Word, I can change it to center align or right align, wherever you want it to go on that path. All right. Or you could just drag the start and stop. So let's go on center align. All right, let's move properties back over here. All right, so that's the middle one. Oh, and same thing. Let's go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, let's get the line back. Let's get that little line back. It's going to be the same thing as step number five up here. We got to go to our direct selection tool, the white arrow. Click on one of the anchors, which is this endpoint. Now I have my stroke in front. Let's go ahead and click on black. And there we go, or yellow, just for sake of that. Let's check that out. There we go. Now my line did not go away, just for sake of the assignment. All right. And last but not least, we're going to do the vertical type tools. Fairly simple. On your type tools, vertical type, single click, type your word. Do Jaguars. Now I'm still editing. This is just like the original type tool. We could highlight this, but my preference, my workflow is I like to escape on the keyboard or go to my black arrow to move this around and I can just adjust the font name, font size. This again is impact and the font size is fairly large. Let's check this out. And this one I believe is stretched a little bit. Typically I tell you guys not to do this, but for the sake of this assignment, we're going to do it this one time. That's not, this is not how the font was designed to look. But for the sake of this assignment, I will allow it this time. Oops, I didn't want to change the stroke to blue. Let me go control Z, hit X on my keyboard, get the fill in the front. We could change this to a blue. Get a little bit closer there. Almost. Yeah, close enough. All right. Hope that helps. Good luck. Oh, when we're done, I'm going to go control zero. Shows me the whole page. That way, when you close this and save it, the next time you open up, it's going to be right here showing the whole page. Wherever you leave off on whatever zoom level you're at. The next time you open it, it's going to be at that same zoom level. All right, good luck.